Reckless challenge by Fernando Rickson, which has resulted in the Dutchman being disciplined by his club. They fined him two weeks' wages and confiscated his fireworks for a month. <laughs> so could you now please welcome Charlie Muller? Yeah. And no problems walking there. Brand new. <laughs> Brand new, so you're all right then, aye? No, very sore, very sore. Very sore, because you did take a bit of your thump. Let's just see that right away here. You're you and Fernando. Everybody, it seems it's trying to drown. <laughs> right, so what do you reckon? Should he have been sent off? I can't tackle his can I? No. Honestly, my knee, that was the order. Right, so you, do you think he should have been sent off, though? Nah, I think so. Though. No, you can I'm take worse than that, aye? <laughs> 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 Aye, right, I think that's good. last night my Christmas night out, there you go. <laughs> exactly. And you've got to be tough if you're going to be clearly a Johnny Cash fan. Because he's, <laughs> he's a tough guy as well. No, you did as well, you get quite a lot of uh, booze there at uh, Ibrook, so just like the old days really then, Charlie, aye. <laughs> I was welcome back with my arms again. <laughs> no, let's just uh, remind you a wee bit of the, the old days at Rangers. We can show you a goal here, and it was actually set up by who I think was one of the greatest ever Rangers players. Let's see this. There's Van Bossen away from <laughs> two tackles. And it's the goal scored by Charlie Miller. There you go. Finish up as there you go. Fantastic uh, goal there and against uh, Clyde. I the think it was a cup Clyde. again against Clyde. The mighty Clyde. Sort of games when you used to get a game for Rangers. <laughs> and, uh, but, I mean, what, what would you say though was your best moment at Ibrox? What was the right moment you thought, yes, this is a life? Um, I shoved one up you at Murrowell. Yeah. <laughs> I think I would. <laughs> <laughs> I do think I would have remembered that, Charlie, <laughs> quite frankly. <laughs> so would I, but it was a joke. Uh, I would have to say nine in a row. The night I crossed the ball for Loudrop. Uh, that was definitely my, that was one of my highlights of my career right. so far. Um, I've had a few to, you know, um, off the field as well. But, yes. Um, no, but definitely crossing the ball for Loudrop was probably... Right. And how many great amazing. moments did you have that you just can't remember because you were passionate? <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember when BBC Sports Personality of the Year? See? <laughs> no! <laughs> no! <laughs> you did really well. No, the... We need to obviously uh, talk about your man Gaz. I mean, you, you, Gaza came up here with his pal, old Ray five bellies, like and uh, he did. But, but well, it was, it was a bit <laughs> of a, a good role model. <coughs> oh, great role model. Aye. He knows where the bar is, I tell you. I'm, I'm talking about five bellies. <laughs> <laughs> He wasn't bad to you. Right, so what's the, what's the one memorable thing, one memorable story you can maybe share with us about Gaza? Gordon Duke, I landed Gordon Judy's car. Right. And I think he was fishing that morning. So he comes back, back for the fishing, his gear on the whole regalia. Um, crazy, crazy man. But um, gets Gordon Judy's uh, boot, opens the bonnet, takes the wheel up, puts a fish, fresh fish in his boot. So Duke's. <laughs> Cause into his car, smells of fish, stinking it was. He's like, what the hell is that? Right. Honestly, I thought it was one. Thought he was doing it victorious, <laughs> eh? <laughs> <laughs> no, so, obviously, Duke, three days later, his motor stinking. Goes in, finds a fish, gets it. Honestly, gets the motor validated three, four times. Still smell the smell of fish. Can he get rid of that smell? <laughs> Almost out the back seat. There you go, another fish lying there. Right in the back seat. That's <laughs> it. <laughs> right. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, a lot of great times you had there, but we'll, good there, huh? we'll skim out our, eh? <laughs> no, it wasn't the best story, Charlie, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> You're a big boy, you can take it. But uh, I mean, the, the, the infamous Barney at the, uh, the Fox and Hounds pub in, in Renfrewshire, I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll pass it over that. Uh, a strange me. pub, the Fox and Hounds. I was in it one Saturday night. No, a lot of foxes. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, the strangest thing about it though, Charlie, was it when I went in, all the bar stools were nailed to the flare. <laughs> Don't know why that could have been Charles, but anyhow, I why, we I need to move why. on, because you've been doing really well at Dundee United, I do think, when you, you get the jokes as well about who ate all the pies and that, you don't look, there's not a pick on you, man, if you want fat, there's fat, you know what I mean? <laughs> I do think you're a class act, are you going to get back in the Scotland team? Nah, no, I doubt it. No. How? Alex Smith says you should, get your finger out and get back in there. And my finger's still stuck in there, I think. You're right. <laughs> just need to straighten yourself out. <laughs> Do you think, honestly, a wee show of hands, you don't think this man should be back in the Scotland team? Who thinks he should? Yeah. 
Oh, cheers. Come on. Right, there we go. A good shout there. That's all right. Right, now, we were saying about Dundee United. What's the, the Christmas gig this year, Charlie? All the players have them. Last night we had it, actually. Was right. Good? Very good, actually. Very good. Better than last year's? Because we got a wee flow here. The Dundee United Christmas party last year actually ended up playing Naked Twister. Now, we've got a photo. See if you can tell what one's Charlie. <laughs> What Charlie? Yeah. There we go, a class act. Now, guys, we've got a special booby prize tonight. Whoever loses has got to dress up as a film star. Okay, so here we go. So let's start the quiz. First question, Charlie. Name the only Glasgow team still involved in European competition. Don't know. <laughs> Martin. <laughs> For a bonus, Martin. Yeah, well fun. done, Martin. Your question. Uh, name the Glasgow team that's currently four points clear at the top of the league. <laughs> No, perfect, that's what I'm saying. I like to smile off your face, yeah. Uh, Charlie, what would be your favourite job, Charlie, if you were only a footballer? Would it be A, a photographer for Playboy magazine, or B, a policeman at Vigo Airport? <laughs> um. Right, we don't need an answer with that one. Martin, your question. If you come from Glasgow, you're a Glaswegian. If you come from Manchester, you're a Mancunian. What's the correct term for someone from Greenock? Greenock, okay. No, it's an unemployed junkie. <laughs> Charlie! I never thought I would say this to Charlie Muller, but this is a spelling question. <laughs> and that's a tough one. Uh, you played in a Rangers side that famously beat Vladi Kafkas. You beat them 10-3. Can you spell three? <laughs> it's... Um, no. Hard lines. Uh, it was a tough one right enough. Martin, top actor, you are. Who said, is this a dagger I see before me? Somebody for Greenock. Well, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The correct answer was Macbeth, and it was actually Malky Macbeth, who's a bouncer at Babylon in Greenock. You know that place? Uh, Charlie, which of these could you not buy in a department store? A scatter cushion, a throw rug, or a tossed bar stool? <laughs> Yes, well done. Two points. And the final question, this could clinch it for either one you. Uh, you're for Castle Milk, Charlie. You're for Green Uxies. Or hard men, alright? So what we want you to do, sit a wee bit closer and we'd like you to try and steer each other out and a count of three. Okay, and this is going to clinch it. So have a good look at each other. Count of three. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> no, no way, you are cheating. So that means... Aye, the winner's going to Martin Thompson. Quiz. And that's your own fault, you've asked that right up for us, Charlie, because you'll need to gaff, you'll need to get yourself ready, mate, for the end of the show, so well done, Charlie. And uh, Martin, in the meantime, we've got a great prize for you. This is, you'll probably be going to Stuttgart to support Celtic. This is a new in flight Celtic supporters bag, right? Bye. And Bye. this is absolutely superb. It's got everything you'll need in here. You've got the moist towelette, there you go. You've got the old eye patch just so you can get a good sleep. You've got the earplugs there, brilliant. Uh, what else have we got here? We've got the gum shield. Okay, that's superb. Uh, we've got the half bottle of Bucky, which is a necessity. And of course, the fags and the lighter. You'll definitely need that from the bog. So there you go. Have a lot of fun with that, Mark. Well done, Mark. Yes, well done. Sadly, that is the flag up and offside for another week. So thanks to this week's quiz winner, Martin Compston. Uh, join us for our Christmas special next Monday at the later time at 11.30. Tonight, though, time's really getting the better is, so all I've got time to say is good night and take it away, drop the cock and Charlie Miller. <laughs>